Hello and welcome to the final screencast for Wiley's Vending Machine. Here is the startup screen where you have the option to click one of the four categories or you can search by name of the product that you'd like to see. I can demonstrate that right now. I can uh, type in Reese's. Just Reese, just to make it easy, it'll show up just the Reese's that is available. You can click that and it'll add it to the cart. If you update the button, update cart button, it'll show you that that's been updated and that is in the cart. If you want to search other products here, you can just search by type R and it'll show you multiple products that have the lowercase r in it. I guess Reese's doesn't show up because it's a capital R. That's something I didn't fix. But that can be sorted as well. You can see that that's sorted by, by uh, name. And it is in alphabetical order. Let's go back to start and click on these. Click on these categories. So here is uh, all of the drinks that are available with their price and their quantity. These are uh, brought in from a file and I have uh, hard-coded a few that, that have a low quantity to demonstrate in the admin screen. I'll, just, I'll show that later. But the sort products here works as well. They don't sort by name. You can also search by name as well here. I click when we click on a couple of these, put them in the cart. There's the, the fade in, fade out, fade in transition to show that the, that has been clicked on. Update cart that's there. Let's look at the rest of the categories. There's the candy. Already clicked on Reese's, so let's go ahead and click on a chip. So I want some sun chips, those are my favorite. And he's down to zero on that one. Get a card. And last is the gum. I'm gonna send him in gums gum band, so do that. So there's uh as many items as I want in this card. It'll just keep going down. Probably could have put a scroll pane here so that it, that could just keep going down. But if what well, it ends up pushing the rest of the scene out, but uh, let's go ahead and hit check out now. We can see that my uh, welcome or my my thank you message is here. That has been uh, uh, that overrides the uh, the center pane of the border pane that the. Uh, base scene has. Here's all my items that I have added into the cart. And there is the total. To demonstrate my new feature, I have a text box here with uh, directions to say enter promotional code, then press enter. So the promotional code that I have I have hard coded in there is get 50 off. All capitals and hit enter. So that there will show you that uh, it has taken 50% off. I have a little error message that will show up if if the wrong thing is entered in there. You can see that we did not enter a valid promo code. So that's it for the uh, for the shopping cart. So let's hit continue shopping. I should probably clear out my cart. Let's go ahead and go into the admin scene. I'm going to press F1 to do that. So here's F1. Here's the, this is what F1 gets you. It's the admin, admin screen. This will show me all of my products that I have loaded in my dispenser. I can sort those just the same. Oh, they're all sorted by name. I can 
search for a product just the same. Let's go. Let's go back though. And let's create a new purchase order. So it automatically takes all of the products that have a low quantity of lower than five and shows me each product the quantity on hand that's what QOH stands for two three four one three and I'm getting phone calls and the total cost to restock is forty eight dollars and twenty five cents and if I press the restock button this is something I I just recently added was uh, an actual visualization of that restocking machine. Now all of them are set to 10. And the total cost to restock is now zero because they are all at 10. And that is it for the demonstration of my product. My product uh, vending machine. Thank you for watching.